there are a lot of these add or delete sentences uh, or questions on this exam. I don't know why there's so many, but it shouldn't bother us. These are ideas questions. We need to think about the ideas in the passage. It is not about whether you find this sentence interesting. There is definitely a provable answer. So what we should do is we should look around this sentence, this sentence 16, and see what's going on. What are the ideas that are being conveyed? Um, we can look even just at those two sentences, right? So uh, the sentence before starts here. Boss tweets Tammany Hall Group, which controlled New York uh, City in the 1860s, stole more than $30 million, the equivalent of more than $365 million today. Tammany Hall was so powerful and corrupt that the New York Times commented there's absolutely nothing in the city which is beyond the reach of the insatiable gang. So it seems to be dealing with corruption. We can go further back. Powerful political organizations, political machines, control of city governments, uh, they're packing legislatures and courts, uh, purchasing votes, fraud, um, favors for votes, uh, da, 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 they have control, um, use public funds to enrich themselves, right? There's a theme, it's about corruption. So is the sentence 16 about corruption? Tweed had been elected to a single two-year term in Congress in 1852. No, it's like a random fact about Tweed. Yes, they talk about Tweed in this paragraph, but you see the it, repeated ideas, it's not just repeating his name, it's repeating the idea of corruption. So ideas are what we care about. So we've summarized this paragraph in a very useful way, dumb summarize, uh, it's about corruption. The sentence is not about corruption, so it probably should not be kept. And then if we look at the two uh, examples, it blurs the focus of the paragraph by introducing loosely related information. So yeah, it's kind of related in that it's about Tweed, but loosely because the, the paragraph is more about corruption. Or D, deleted because it contains information that undermines the main claim of the passage. We saw this exact choice between C and D uh, in an earlier question in this test. C is going to be the answer because undermine is a strong word. This is a random fact gets in the way of my main point about corruption, but it doesn't like undermine that point. It doesn't attack the point. And so this strong word undermine, like it, it doesn't contradict the main point. So we, this is just too strong. So go with things that are weaker, just like we do on the reading section. And uh, it's very likely you'll have this exact kind of choice yourself on your own SAT. They tend to repeat these kinds of choices.